I've chosen Easter 1916 for pretty obvious reasons if you're an Irish person. Because 1916 brought us to where we are now. But also for more personal reasons, because I, my maternal grandfather was a commandant in the IRA. Although he wasn't at the GPO, he was part of 1916 in the country and was imprisoned um, and indeed was in prison for quite a period of my mother's childhood um, for IRA activities. And his testament is now available in the National Military Archive, so I've read it. So it's a part, I feel, of my life and my heritage as well as a part of of Ireland's heritage. I have met them at close of day, coming with vivid faces from counter or desk among grey 18th century houses. I have passed with a nod of the head or polite meaningless words or have lingered a while and said polite meaningless words and thought before I had done of a mocking tale or a jibe to please a companion around the fire at the club, being certain that they and I but lived where motley is worn. All changed, changed utterly. A terrible beauty is born. That woman's days were spent in ignorant goodwill, her nights in argument until her voice grew shrill, what voice more sweet than hers when young and beautiful she rode to Harriers? This man had kept a school and rode our winged horse. This other, his helper and friend, was coming into his force. He might have won fame in the end, so sensitive his nature seemed, so daring and sweet his thought. This other man I had dreamed a drunken, vainglorious lout, he had done most bitter wrong to some who are near my heart. Yet I number him in the song. He, too, has resigned his part in the casual comedy. He, too, has changed in his turn, transformed utterly. A terrible beauty is born. Hearts with one purpose alone through summer and winter seem enchanted to a stone to trouble the living stream. The horse that comes from the road, the rider, the birds that range from cloud to tumbling cloud, minute by minute they change. A shadow of cloud on the stream changes minute by minute. A horse hoof slides on the brim, and a horse plashes within it. The long-legged moorhens dive and hens to moorcocks call. Minute by minute they live. The stones in the midst of all. Too long a sacrifice can make a stone of the heart. Oh, when may it suffice? That is heaven's part, our part, to murmur name upon name. As a mother names her child when sleep at last has come, on limbs that had run wild. What is it but nightfall? No, no, not night, but death. Was it needless death, after all? For England may keep faith for all that is done and said. We know their dream, enough to know they dreamed and are dead. And what if excess of love bewildered them till they died? I write it out in a verse. Macdonough and Macbride and Connolly and Pierce, now and in time to be, wherever green is worn, are changed, changed utterly. A terrible beauty is born.